Good evening, guys. I used a uh, bubble bar from Lush that left my water looking a little yellow slash orangey. So I am going to use this little bath bomb here. This is the Parrot Bath Bomb scented in peach and mango. This is from a new to me company called Bath Fetish and I was dying to try them. It smells very, very, very nice. Um, and then, um, after this, there's going to be a separate video. I'm going to, um, talk about my Conair, uh, bubble spa, um, because the previous video I did on it had goth bath water and a lot of people have been complaining. Why is the water black? They don't understand bath bomb world. So I'm doing it with a lighter color, um, bath water. All right. So let's go ahead and put this thing to work. I love this thing. This freaking girl. I really still have to get used to it, but this uh, bath buoy is just awesome. Again, a, meet, a new to me shop, so I didn't know what to expect, but the foam is freaking awesome. You do see some color coming out pretty quickly, which is another thing that I like. My least favorite thing is when bath embeds, I'm sorry, embeds are buried too deep within the bath bomb, and then I don't get to see the color show until I've been holding it up for a while, or I love when they come out pretty quickly, which is a bonus here. And how cute is he, by the way? This scent is, what the heck again was it? Make sure I got it, yeah, peach and mango. It's awesome. Super cute. I'm trying to see if I can actually go under there and do a swirl or two. Unfortunately, because of the color that the Lush bath bomb turned my water, I can't give you a true description of what the bath water color will be afterwards, but I'm assuming because it's yellow, it's just going to be more orangey or more yellowy. I'm assuming the swirl game would be a lot better if um, this were not inside the actual uh, buoy. I'm actually on a social media break right now. So even though I'm doing demos, um, I am not on Instagram. I am not on Facebook. I just needed a little break. And it's been amazing, honestly, in light of everything that's been going on um, the past uh, weeks. It's just too much sad news out there. And, you know, now the looting and all of that. But anyway, back to the reason I use bath bombs is the relaxing part. This thing is super cute, and I like that it looks like the embeds um, sort of are following it. So it's like behind it and not, um, I've never seen a bath bomb where it just has it like coming out on one side, but it looks like it's just color trailing the uh, parrot. So that's pretty cool because it's like, it's uh, looks sort of like, um, you know, wings. awesome again this bath buoy can be found on um, my fairy sorry fairy just I'm sorry I get it wrong every time just fairy fizzies on Etsy and if you do happen to purchase based on seeing these in my demos just if you could just let them know that 
it was because of me that you purchased. I don't get anything from the deal, but it's just nice if the makers know that any of us that demo that there are videos work to get them business. Again, I get nothing from it. I don't even ask for free products, so it's nothing. This thing is just uh, super cute and super fun. Let me turn it my way because I'm going to let it sit now for a while. My bubbles are dying in my tub, but I'm okay with that because I have my Conair Jet Spa that I'm about to review in a few minutes. Stop moving. Turn back and face me, little guy. This freaking buoy is genius. I'll never have to worry about whether a bathroom is going to float. That's not true. I do have to worry about it because it honestly, I um, used it with a heavier bath bomb and it wasn't working well with the heavier bath bomb. I guess there's just a limit to the size of the bath bombs we should probably put in here. And that one was pretty heavy, so I so was trying to, like, dunk the whole bath bomb. See how it looks like it's like the tail feathers of the parrot? I don't know. I'm assuming that was by design, that that's what she wanted when she made this bath bomb. Pretty darn cute. All right, so it never happens, but I got a phone call in the middle of the last portion of it. So I took the bath bomb out so we could finish watching it. <laughs> so it looks like all the foam has died down while I was on my phone call. So let's go ahead and put this thing back in and see what happens. It was so beautiful too. Unfortunately, it was a phone call I really needed to take. So I get what I get and I don't get upset, as my granddaughter says. So the bath water is turning very yellow. So I guess it was just going to be a yellow bath. And now it looks like the bath, the foam creation has slowed down because I interrupted it. Maybe if I dip it a little more, we can get some foam back the way it was. Sorry about that, guys. This has never happened to me before. But here we are. I'm gonna just go ahead and dip it because that's what I'm gonna do. Since the buoy doesn't seem to be, I messed it all up. And look, it was a floater anyway. I didn't even give it a chance to see if it would float because I'm so like enamored with my buoy right now. That's another bonus. It floats, guys. And it's an easy float. Like I just literally placed it on the top of the water and it took, it actually floated out of my hands, which if it were a sinker, it would have just thunk, to the bottom. Oh, I don't know about the crush on this. I think it's going to be a little hard. He's still so cute. And the color is still there even. Cool. This scent is really, I know I said it already, but it's really nice. I've never had this combination before. It's just nice. Now I'm really going to have to hit these bubbles too because they're like lackluster everywhere. So maybe if you're interested, you can stick around and see the demo of 
the Con Air, which is coming up probably right after this video. Look at that. It's a little hard. It's not a definitely not a soft crush. Was a lot softer. That is super soft there. All right, so I guess we shall look at the water, which I think you've seen because I really ruined this demo. All right, so here we have um, a little bit of shimmer, not any huge amount of shimmer, unless it's just because it's yellow water. And maybe the shimmer might be go oh yeah it is it actually is a lot of shimmer in there i just had to put the light closer so i could actually see it um it's a decent amount of shimmer not um overwhelming um but not underwhelming so just another interruption <laughs> so this is bath fetish and this is the parrot bath bomb scented in mango and peach and it was a very cute very fun bath bomb so um look up bath fetish on etsy if you'd like one of these and i will talk to you guys on the next one